in this lecture we will prove that every vector in a vector space can be written as unique linear combination of basis vectors let's say we have a vector space capital v with basis v1 v2 dot 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 v n so there are n vectors in our basis and let's say there is another vector v in our vector space then we can write this vector v as linear combination of our basis so let's say the linear combination is a1 v1 plus a2 v2 plus dot 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 plus a n v n and these scalars a1 a2 up to a n are real numbers now let's say there exist another representation of the same vector v with respect to same basis but the scalar coefficients are different so let's say there exist another set of scalar coefficients a1 dash a2 dash dot 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 a n dash and they all are real numbers and we can write vector v as a1 dash v1 plus a2 dash v2 plus dot 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 plus a n dash v n and let's call the first representation is 1 and the second representation is 2 now 1 and 2 represent same vector v in terms of same basis but the scalars are different now if i subtract representation 2 from 1 then i get because on the left side i have same vector v so i get 0 and on the right side i get a1 minus a1 dash v1 plus a2 minus a2 dash v2 plus dot 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 plus a n minus a n dash v n and here we note that the linear combination of basis vectors is equals to 0 and that is only possible if all the scalar coefficients are 0 because our basis vectors are linearly independent so this implies a1 minus a1 dash equals to a2 minus a2 dash equals to dot 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 equals to a n minus a n dash and they all are equals to 0 so this implies a1 is equals to a1 dash a2 is equals to a2 dash dot 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 and a n is equals to a n dash so this shows that for both the representations of the vector with respect to given basis we have same scalar coefficients so this proves that for a given vector there is only one unique linear combination with respect to a given basis and these scalar coefficients are called coordinates of the vector v with respect to basis v1 v2 dot 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 vn